Hello guys, this video will be in English. The 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 video will be in The video In this video, guys, I'm going to talk about the Facebook social media applications, online applications. This is, the diff is uh, different than social media extensions. Um, the difference is that extension, you need to install it in your browser, but for online applications, you use it online without any download. So as you know that this is uh, the part of my website which contains all the applications for Facebook, YouTube, web applications, Instagram, and Twitter applications. So I'm going to talk in this video about Facebook applications, how you can, how to use Facebook applications. Facebook applications such as Pages Unliker, this app uh, will help you to unlike all your, uh, all the pages that you like it on Facebook. So if you have uh, 1k uh, 2k pages that you like it on Facebook you can use this app to unlike them all at once friend list info this application that helps you to uh, collect uh, private information about your friends uh, this application comes in premium and free version Facebook ID viewer this application is free and you don't need to log into my website in order to use it you just open this application copy paste profile Facebook profile URL and then you can get the ID Profile picture viewer, this application is to create the full size of a Facebook user display picture. Also, this application uh, doesn't require uh, to log into my website. Pages Post Cleaner, this application requires you to log into my website, which this application helps you to delete all your Facebook page posts. It's not uh, your account posts, this is about uh, Facebook page posts. If you want to delete your uh, account post, just Google. Uh, for uh, just Google for straight uh, timeline cleaner and you can get uh, the extension which helps you to delete your Facebook account post as you see here this is the page where you can download it download this free extension uh, this is the screenshot of the extension. You can choose between years to, in order to delete your Facebook uh, account posts. This application here, Pages Post Cleaner, this is for pages, not for accounts. So if you want to delete your page post, you can use this application. This application requires to log in to Facebook. And for sure, I will show you in this video how to log in to my website using your Facebook account. Facebook Blue Post, this application doesn't require any uh, login to the application of your Facebook account, just you can create custom text and paste it as a Facebook new post. The text will be in blue color and will redirect, uh, redirect anyone who clicked the text uh, to your Facebook page or account for sure. Video Downloader, also application is free and doesn't require you to log in. Just copy paste a Facebook video in order to download it to your computer or your mobile phone. Video Uploader, this one requires you to log in and this is an amazing application. This one will help you to just upload any Facebook video to your account or your, uh, or your Facebook page. Uh, for this moment, this application supports Facebook, and in future it will be it will support uh, Twitter, Instagram, and uh, also TikTok. Uh, just copy the video URL, paste it to the application, and choose uh, pages, choose many pages that you are admin in, and also you can choose your account with one click. The video will be uploaded to all your video, to all your pages, and also to your uh, um, Facebook account. Facebook account creator, this application, I think I will take it uh, off from my website because you don't need to use it anymore after I upgrade my, uh, after I upgraded all the extensions uh, in order to, to use them in a new way. Uh, anyway, this application for the moment uh, helps you to create a Facebook account with only one click. Public search, I don't know if this one is still working after Facebook latest update or not, but this one will help you to search public posts on Facebook. This required you to log into my website using your Facebook account. DB Guard, this one also requires you to log into uh, where you to log into my website via your Facebook account. Uh, display picture guard will guard your Facebook display picture. Facebook giveaway, this is a free and an amazing application. 
where you can create a giveaway uh, on your Facebook page and then this application will help you to become a winner from uh, the comments. Group will clean up this one is the online application uh, created after uh, some uh, trouble that you had guys uh, using a Facebook group wall cleaner the extension so uh, this online application requires you to log into my website using your Facebook account this will clean your group uh, post and in this video I'm gonna show you how to use it so guys in order to first in order to uh, to open this page where it contains social media applications this is the URL but if you lost the URL just go to Google and type my last name which is Shreetah you will see that uh, my website is khalil-shreetah.com just open it wait for it completely being loaded and you have two choices two choices to open the online application section you can click this banner here free social media apps or you can go from the main menu to uh, social media and then social application you will be redirected to the online application section this is where we was um, so to use this um, to use the online Facebook tools first thing you need to use account verifications account verifications is an online application which will verify your account on my website verify your Facebook account on my website and before you guys uh, start using online applications as always I say that all online applications you use them on your own responsibility if Facebook disabled your account I can't recover it back actually this is up to Facebook if they disabled your account then uh, you need to contact them they may maybe reject your uh, appeal or maybe they accept it depends on them not on me so I always say that if you want to use online applications uh, especially the applications that require you to log into my website use them on test accounts or newly created accounts because uh, if you lost them then there is nothing uh, uh, anyway so this is the application the first application you need to use is account verification over your mouse on Facebook apps and choose account verification I already uh, I already uh, used this um, use this application before uh, on testing so uh, if you got uh, something like this just click on login uh, to another account uh, this uh, this requires you to insert your uh, credentials your Facebook credentials so I'm gonna use a test account to log in to my website and use it here is the username you can log in to your Facebook account with your Facebook uh, account ID or your email address uh, or your mobile phone number anyway here's the password this is a test account guys You're, it's not a real account so after that hit login and just wait after you got this picture or this page as you see here it asks you to save uh, to login next time uh, login with the uh, in within one tab then uh, you finished you done you done from Facebook account verification otherwise sometimes Facebook will ask you to verify your account using uh, a code sent to your email address or uh, provide Facebook with your birthday uh, or uh, verify by phone number uh, it depends on the way you want to choose to verify your account but because I'm using a test account Facebook did not ask me to verify my account on uh, my website but for sure when you use your account Facebook will ask you to verify your account using mobile either mobile or email or um, provide them with your birthday whatever Facebook asks you you need to follow it after you go to this page finish now you verified your account and guys this is the Facebook page it's not in my website I'm just using it to verify my website on Facebook for your account okay so after that go back to hover your mouse on Facebook app and login button click login you will be redirected to application that will log your Facebook account will log you to my to my website via your Facebook account same thing just copy or enter your credentials It 
login button and make sure that when you hit login button you get this message will appear here you'll get this success machine with the red, uh, red color success as you see here this is success that means you logged into my website successfully now you can use all the application that requires you to log into my website so let's use group wall cleaner i told you that we're gonna use this application in this video so click group wall cleaner to delete our group boss as you see here the application will give you your name on facebook and it will ask you to enter your group id and how many uh, posts you want to delete now how to you get your facebook group on facebook how to get them as you see here there's a down uh, below button uh, named show groups you click on it and it will give you all the groups that you are admin in just copy the group id so i have a group named social media apps as you see here this is a group named social media apps you can pick the id from the url or you can just click show groups and copy the group id same things paste it here As you see here, this group contains some posts. Post seven, post nine, post eight. This is the post I created. So we're gonna delete this post. Simply after that, just hit the delete posts button and wait for the application to finish working. Sometimes the app may uh, may get uh, a bad response from Facebook but it may continue uh, continue deleting so you need to check your post if they deleted or not manually so go back to your uh, to any of your list group posts and check if the application deleted them or not as you see here the post has been deleted go back to your pay group and refresh it and let's check this as you see there is no more posts inside this group this means that the application deleted all the posts inside this group this is how to use the application sometimes I told you sometimes that the application will uh, get a bad response from Facebook it doesn't matter this uh, uh, while it's still working uh, I will try to update it in a future version so go back let's go back and use uh, video uploader Okay, video uploader. I think um, I think video uploader. Uh, we don't have any any uploaded video because this is a test account. Uh, we can't get any video, guys, because this is a test account. Uh, for example, if you search for funny and uh, shows videos, we will get nothing because these are test accounts. But anyway, you copy a video URL. Okay, I think there are some videos here in cache. Okay, let's choose this this video for example and test just uh, Facebook video uploader app and where I want to upload it. Let's upload it to my page and to my profile and page D. Click post video and wait for the application to finish. Let's check this if uh, this uh, this will work or not because as I said before the guys I'm working on test account just wait for the application to finish let's talk about more applications uh, public search I don't know if this one's still working uh, while I'm using a test account I can't use this application uh, DB guard yeah, DB card. Let's let's try TV DB card. So first, let's go uh, and upload. Let's upload a picture. I don't know if I have a picture here. On this group. Okay, here is a picture. Good.
let's choose this picture Okay, we just uploaded a picture to Facebook and set it up as a profile picture. So this is the application that uh, Facebook is really picture card. There's just two choices, turn on DB protection, turn off DB protection. I'll choose turn on DB protection and click make it. Wait for the response and it said success. So go back to your Facebook and refresh your page. And as you see here, there is a, um, what do you call this one, below the picture, um, protection shield, okay, this is a protection shield, as you see here, the picture below, protection shield, as you see, it's a blue color protection shield. Go back to the application, click turn off and make it, to turn off the, uh, the shield, success, refresh your Facebook page, and as you see that, the protection shield gun uh, this is how this is how to use this application okay this said that uh, the video uploader app said that the video uploaded successfully to two pages page d and my profile but on facebook when you upload a video it will give you uh, a notification that your video is ready um, I don't think that it successfully uploaded a video or not. Uh, what we choose if we pages D. Okay, here pages D. I don't think we successfully uh, uploaded a video because I said before this is a test account, not a real account, but I never tried it before. So just let's take a look at this. 